Right, so I thought I'd answer Brett Keane's 20 some odd questions, uh, 22. Um, probably not too original, but I figured I wouldn't even take a look at them before doing the video, so maybe that'll make it a little more spicy, I don't know. Uh, so let's get on with it. The 20 questions, let me just bring them up. Okay, so, on the sidebar, uh, where do you get your morality from? Please explain your morality. I uh, get my morality from the simplistic sort of 2 plus 2 logical equation of do unto others as uh, they would, you would hope them do unto you. Um, that's really all there is. I mean, if I get punched, I know it hurts, so I don't want to punch somebody else because it would hurt them, and we're really the same thing. Uh, the fact that I am me and somebody else is not me doesn't really change the fact that there is a me in somewhere else, if that, make any, if that made any sense and someone else, I should have said. Um, why do you accept evolution? Explain how you came to your conclusions. Um, I guess it was uh, science grade 9 or 10 when we were first shown in depth uh, the fossil records and uh, yeah, it's really the only the only theory that uh, where the puzzle sort of fits if you, you know, sort of look throughout the history and uh, yeah, there's there's no uh, Ma there's no prerequisite, sort of a magical prerequisite for genetic mutation to take place. So until they come up with a more, you know, clear-cut theory or something, uh, I'll stick to evolution. Thank you. Um, what is the meaning and purpose of your life? Meaning and purpose of my life is to convince as many people around me or on the net not to be such giant fucking assholes. And, um... It's getting pretty tiresome, I must say. Uh, what is the greatest thing you have ever done for others? Holy fuck. <laughs> um, that, that's, that's rough off the top of my head. Jeez. Uh, what have I ever done? I mean, I've done a lot of nice things. I just can't think off the top of my head. Uh, the greatest thing. Jeez. Um, I can't remember. Uh, Come on, you've done some nice things, fucker. Hurry it up, hurry it up. Don't spend too much time on this shit. Um, I guess I don't lie. I guess, you know, that can be summed up as an overall really nice thing. I don't, I don't, I've never lied to people. Um, even white lies. Uh, I just really have some sort of a built-in counter to lying. I just really hate it. So, when you counter in the fact that it's been a whole lifetime, you know, 23 years of no lies, it's... Uh, I think that's, that can be considered the greatest thing, the greatest achievement. Um, but I might break the streak if the corporate agenda really calls for it. But it would have to be a small kind of white lie, not a big lie. Um, yeah, I know, it sucks. Uh, what is the greatest thing you have... Oh, wait, that's what I read. Uh, would you kill for atheism? Um... Well, gee, I guess the proper thing to say is no, because then if we say yes, we really invite the religious fucktards to give a shit, but I probably would. I think there is a circumstance that would probably call for it. Say if, you know, Christians are killing for Christianity on a wide scale, I guess, you know, to get rid of those few, you'd sort of be killing for atheism in a way. So yes, I would, you know, to reduce greater nonsensical killing, I would, you know, kill, kill them. And I guess that's a contradiction of my golden rule, but it's really not because, you know, the do unto others as you'd hope to have them do unto you, well, that's not what I hope to have done unto me. So, yes, I would kill in order to prevent other killings, so in a way that's kind of like killing for atheism. Anyway, moving on. Um, why are you an atheist and consider your position valid? Uh, because I'm yet to see a single shred of evidence for God's existence. So this is very samey, but yeah, really, that's the only answer you can give, really. Um, if you died and discovered a god exists, what would you say to he, she, it? Uh, again, say me. Uh, you know, maybe I'll add on a, well, how do you exist forever, or who the fuck created you if you don't exist forever? Uh, yeah, but the main question would be, well, I mean, come on, god, why? Why? Why do this thing? And just leave it. Why? Um... What religion is the most dangerous in your eyes today and in the past? Well, that question can be taken two ways. 
today and in the past altogether or today and separately in the past. Because obviously if you go in the past, you got to go with Christianity. That's just been proven. And uh, if you go today, it's got to be Islam due to the one in five uh, babies, one in five kids being born to Islamic families who are likely going to indoctrinate them into thinking that they got to take over and uh, come knocking on our door. Uh, name three peaceful religions you have no issue with. Jeez, well I have a fundamental issue with all of them pretty much, but I guess to a lesser extent uh, it's got to be Islam, no, <laughs> sorry. It's got to be, uh, you know, Buddhism, Hinduism, and that third one. What was that third one? Oh, that third one. Uh, can't think of that off the top of my head. There's a third one. Mormonism. No, no, not, not Mormon. Mormonism is pretty fucked up. Uh, insert third non-big religion here. Um, Non-crazy big religion. Um... What would it take to believe in God? Um, simply appearing right before me. That's really all. Um, and I would have to see the creation. You know, you'd have to take me back in time and show me exactly how he created it, all of it. So f for me to actually believe he's God. And some other magic feats, I guess. Um, I would be swayed if like every single atheist started believing in a God. To say that I wouldn't be swayed by that I'd be lying. You know, it wouldn't fully make me believe in him, but I would certainly be tilted. I'd give the hypothesis more credibility if like 90% of atheists, uh, credible ones, started believing in God. Uh, but yeah, just, it would only, you know, tilt me. It wouldn't fully sway me.